Now, Eileen Wilder suffered from eating disorders and depression, but she learned how to change her negative thoughts about herself to truth. Her path to confidence is laid out in her book, The Brave Body Method. Welcome, yes. we're so glad you're so here. Yes. Glad that you're Thanks here. so much. Welcome yeah. to us. Now, given, we always like to have our first time guests to tell us just a little bit about themselves. Yeah. Where are you from, married with children? Yeah, I am from the Washington, D.C. area, and I've been married for 13 years to a wonderful man named Harrison. We have three gorgeous kids that we run after all day long, <laughs> eight, six, uh, and two years old, eight, six, and two. Uh, so you do um, run after Yeah, it's a, it's a constant party. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. That's the party. Well, what's the Brave Body Method? And uh, it, it, give, give, us, give us your introduction. What's your elevator uh, speech about the book? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a faith-based approach toward mm -hmm. gaining the kind of confidence God wants us to have and to help people overcome weight struggles mm -hmm. and issues they may have with their body image. Mm -hmm. How did it all begin for you? What was the, what was, how did it start? Yeah, well, I, I grew up, you know, hearing that God loved me, but for some reason in college, I struggled with just a season of really not figuring out how to get that from my head down into my heart. So I, mm -hmm. I fell into disordered eating and, you know, I went from anorexia and then I, I flipped over <coughs> and I gained 35 pounds over my normal weight. And that's really when I kind of hit rock bottom. I encountered frustration that I can't even put into words. I remember one time looking at myself in a mirror and just hating what I saw. I remember just actually hitting my forehead against that mirror over and over and over because I just wanted to stop feeling the way that I was feeling, but I didn't know how to get out of it. So this book really chronicles the four steps I did to get out of that. How did it take that. you to get through that process? I would say it, it, it probably took me a matter of five to six years. So one of my prayers is that I could help someone get out of that faster than mm -hmm. I did. I, I spent a ton of time reading, researching, and um, so I'm, I'm trying to boil it down because I kind of wish that I had somebody break this down for me like this when I was going through that. Uh, one of the many great things about your book is that it is really practical and hands-on. And I like the acronym you had was KISS. Yeah. If yeah. you could just share a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, the acronym KISS, um, it, this breaks down the four steps. You know, the first step begins with a K, so it's know you're hot. So this is all about walking like and acting like you are the masterpiece God says you are. Mm -hmm. Really trying to break it down so that somebody would actually feel um, their value and their worth like they never have before. And then the second step is I, which is inflict damage. And this is all about the power of our words. The Bible says there's death and there's life and the power of our tongue. So when we speak words of life, we actually inflict damage to some of that darkness that may be hovering mm -hmm. over us. The third step is see your God painting. And this mm -hmm. is all about letting the Holy Spirit, the Bible says that the language of the Holy Spirit is dreams and visions. So this is about letting the Holy Spirit paint for you on the canvas of your soul who you really are. Mm -hmm. and the fourth step is to start before you're ready. This is because so many like me, you know, we just wait to feel it before we do anything. Mm -hmm. But the Bible way is actually to act your way into feeling. I love this quote that says, you have to act the way you want to feel and soon you will feel the way you want to act. Yep. So what do you do practically speaking to right. kind of I'm still hitting my head against the mirror. Yeah. You know, what's the next thing? Well, you know, in psychology, they call it meta thinking, but really it's the Bible way is Philippians 4, 8. You know, whatever is pure, whatever is good, whatever is true, whatever is of good report, whatever is praiseworthy, think on these things. Another translation says, set your mind on them. So what I teach people is to use that scripture like a like a spaghetti strainer over your head yes. and only let what is good and pure and perfect and praiseworthy about you in your mind and let everything else, all that negative self-talk that you don't even know that you're doing, right. start to become aware of it. Practice that meta thinking and start to just think about what you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, you'll begin to dwell on some of those God thoughts, some of those good thoughts, and you will be amazed and the Bible says that we're transformed 
by the renewing of our mind. So it, it, if you can get inside there, it's game over. I had tried just about everything. I felt um, that I was very negative. I didn't believe in the calling of God over my life. I, I would start something, get so far, get so discouraged, and be like, why do this again? People know you are going to fail. I literally had hit plateau after plateau. Um, I had tried different weight loss programs. I had tried different fad diets. Was not involving God in this aspect of my life. I feel felt that I involved Him, you know, in my spiritual growth, in my finances, in in my daily life, but not necessarily in my weight loss. And emotionally and mentally, I was becoming my own worst enemy, and I didn't even realize it. The Brave Body Method dared me to try again. It dared me to try prayer and seeking God and viewing my future and looking at it and calling into existence the things that I wanted to see happen. And it was amazing. Once I started declaring scriptures, I just started to triumph. It's changed my life. It's changed my perspective on not just my eating, my, my health, my physical um, body, but my spiritual person, who I am from the inside out. I mean, as I could see myself when I read the Bible, how God sees me and I'm healthy. I'm healthy and blessed and so, so grateful for this book. Thanks, Eileen.